Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about how long foods stay in your stomach. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Digestion time varies among individuals and between men and women. After you eat, it takes about 6 to 8 hours for food to pass through your stomach and small intestine. Food then enters your large intestine or colon for further digestion, absorption of water, and, finally, elimination of undigested food. It takes about 36 hours for food to move through the entire colon. All in all, the whole process from the time you swallow food to the time it leaves your body as feces takes about 2 to 5 days, depending on the individual. In today's video, we are going to be sharing with you the process of digestion and the factors which affect the digestion process. Stay tuned with us. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. In most cases, food digestion takes longer than 30 minutes to digest food. In fact, the entire digestive process can take several hours. Only simple carbohydrates, such as plain rice and pasta, take just between 30 to 60 minutes to get digested in the stomach. It typically takes food more than 40 minutes to pass through the stomach. After that, the food stays in the intestine anywhere from 40 to 120 minutes, or sometimes even longer. While these are just estimates of the time required to digest food, the actual transit time depends on the density of the food, which pertains to the protein or fat content. For example, peanut butter, avocado, and eggs can take 2 to 4 hours to leave your stomach. What is digestion? The digestion process breaks down food into its components called nutrients that the body can use to function. Food passes through the digestive tract, which is made up of different organs that work together to digest food. The digestive system is made up of five parts that include mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, Digestion typically begins in the mouth when you start chewing the food, which mixes with your saliva and makes it easier to swallow. However, the real digestive process starts in the stomach where the food mixes with water and various digestive enzymes from the pancreas and liver. Then the food passes into the small intestine, where the water and nutrients are absorbed. After that, a large intestine takes care of the remaining waste, which is expelled from the rectum in the form of bowel movements. Mouth. The first stage of digestion happens in your mouth as you eat. While you chew, your mouth releases saliva that contains enzymes in charge of the initial breakdown of the food you eat. The enzymes help turn the food into a soft and mushy mass you can swallow easily. This is a very short phase, usually lasting no more than 20-30 seconds per bite. In the case of soft food, it might take even less time. Esophagus. When you swallow food, it enters the esophagus, and it doesn't stay there long. Nothing major happened in this phase, as it is a transitional one. At the bottom of the esophagus, there is a muscle, the esophageal sphincter, which acts as the gate between the esophagus and the stomach. Stomach. The stomach phase is significantly longer than the previous two combined, but how long does food stay in your stomach, exactly? Experts at Colorado State University have determined, based on a series of studies and tests, that the stomach phase takes between 4 and 5 hours on average. The acids in your stomach break the food down even further, preparing it for the final stages. The mixture of the partly digested food and stomach acids is called chyme. Small intestine. After the chyme leaves the stomach, it enters the small intestine. There, your liver and pancreas take the stage. The pancreatic juices are in charge of breaking down proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, while the liver bile deals with fats. After this, water, vitamins, and other useful nutrients are transported directly to the bloodstream via the small intestine walls. All that's left undigested after this phase goes over to the large intestine. Large intestine. 
The large intestine is the last checkpoint before the food is ready to leave your body. This is also the longest phase of the entire process. It is not unusual for the food to sit in your large intestine for an entire day or even two. Following an extensive study, scientists at Mayo Clinic have found that the average duration of this phase is 40 hours. More precisely, 47 hours for women and 33 hours for men. When this phase ends, all that's left undigested moves to your rectum and forms into solid waste, commonly named stool. It sits there until your next bowel movement. Can some foods move through your stomach at a slower or faster pace? Food composition can play a big role in how long it takes for your food to leave your stomach. Let's examine some important food-related factors that can influence how long it takes for your stomach to empty. Consistency. Liquids typically leave your stomach quickly. For example, after you drink a glass of water, it's estimated that only 50% of it will be left in your stomach after 10 minutes. Solid foods often need to be broken down and liquefied further, which means they usually take longer to leave your stomach. In fact, it usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes before solid foods begin to leave your stomach. Calorie content. Regardless of consistency, foods and drinks that have a lower calorie content generally leave your stomach at a faster rate. Higher calorie foods and drinks will take longer. For example, while water leaves your stomach at a fast rate, a higher calorie liquid such as a glass of fruit juice or a milkshake will exit more slowly. Nutrient content. Foods and beverages rich in carbohydrates and proteins are broken down more easily in your stomach and, as a result, leave your stomach faster. However, foods high in fat and fiber spend a longer amount of time in your stomach. That's why you may feel full for longer when you eat foods that are high in fat or fiber. Volume. The size of your meal can affect the rate at which food leaves your stomach. This seems to be true for both liquids and solids. It's important to note that solid meals will often have a lag period before stomach emptying begins. However, larger meals empty at a faster rate than smaller meals once this lag period has passed. Have you ever noticed what will happen after you eat food? Or how long does it take to digest salad or a pizza? Share your ideas and experiences with us in the comment section below. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.